The Faith, Hope, and Love Academy in Wailin, Taiwan, founded by Reverend Huang in 2002, is a sanctuary for boys who come from difficult backgrounds. Reverend Huang thought of a creative idea to cultivate the boys' skills while building their confidence and letting them experience success. Teach them to ride unicycles. Reverend Huang said, A unicycle emphasizes balance, and it utilizes the brain and the cerebrum. With balance, a person's thoughts and behaviors will not deviate. Their unicycling skill will connect with students and allow them to visit many places. Every summer, they explore by unicycle a new part of Taiwan as a missionary trip to share the gospel. This year's anticipated trip was to, to the beautiful archipelagos of Penghu. Early Monday morning on August 1, 2011, teachers and students held hands in a large circle and prayed for a safe trip, a tradition for starting each trip. While traveling from their hometown across Taiwan, they stopped at Bu Dai Beach. Here the boys already started creating friendships as they exchanged tricks with other young unicyclists. There was no better way to end the day than with a fresh seafood dinner that the boys didn't need to prepare or clean up after. Although they left these chores behind, they continued to pray before every meal. Tuesday morning, Faith, Hope, Love Academy students and teachers donned orange shirts and prepared for a boat ride over to Penghu. Upon arrival at the Magong Harbor, everyone pitched in to stage the gear and prepare the unicycles. They were off to a good start with the support of police escorts and the encouragement of teachers and locals. Their first stop at the Taiwan Penghu District Court, they were warmly greeted by a volunteer crew who would ride along with the students throughout the trip. Several government officers displayed their support for the academy and officially marked the beginning of the trip with a gunshot start. Having previously worked at several correctional facilities around Taiwan, Reverend Huang was granted access for the academy to visit the Penghu branch. A group of eight boys demonstrated their skills. The adult leaders also took this opportunity to share their experience and the word of the gospel with the inmates. The day winded down with a visit to the Penghu Bay, where the boys cooled off in the water while the adults began to discuss plans for the longest ride the next day. The boys enjoyed a rare chance to watch TV with breakfast in bed before beginning the day's ride. At Penghu Aquarium, students and teachers alike marveled at the marine creatures native to Penghu, like the great sea turtle. Next up were the twin arches of Penghu. We're not talking about the golden arches of McDonald's, but those of the Penghu Great Bridge instead. The longest bridge in the Penghu archipelago. It spans 2.5 kilometers and connects Bai Sha with Shiyu. 
Riding across the water all around was a unique experience. The unicycle ride would end here for the day, but there was still more to discover about Peng Hu. On this side of Peng Hu, the boys revealed more marvels like the Whale Cave, Yuan Dao Lighthouse, Shi Yu Fort, and Peng Hu Living Museum. After riding 25 kilometers, everyone was rewarded with a fresh seafood dinner at a boat-shaped restaurant at Peng Hu's Fisherman's Wharf. Today marks the last day on the Peng Hu Islands. Like every other day, the morning began with warm-up exercises and a prayer led by Reverend Huang. Even on the third day, the police continued to voluntarily escort the group, and the volunteers remained enthusiastic. After pedaling a total of 64 kilometers, they finally arrived at their final destination, Aiman Beach. With the beautiful crystal clean water and the sandy beaches, it was the best place to rest. The boys cooled off in the water, caught water insects, and played in the sand. Meanwhile, a volleyball game started between the boys and the volunteers. For both the academy and the volunteers, it was a bittersweet departure. Sweet in the sense that it was celebrated with a tasty treat of shaved ice. Bitter in the sense that the journey was over. This trip not only offered the students an opportunity to travel, but also to grow closer together and spread the gospel. As unicycling requires constant pedaling without the advantages of coasting, gears or brakes, the boys spent an intense amount of energy, especially with climbing and descending hills. The endurance of each student for unicycling the whole trip, under the beating sun and in the high humidity, was an incredibly admirable accomplishment. Most inspiring was seeing Reverend Wong ride the unicycle alongside the boys. Although he rides at a slower pace and often needs a lift, his effort was the best encouragement to the boys. These extraordinary four days marked an adventure that the Faith, Hope, Love Academy, the volunteers, and the people of Peng Hu would long remember. Ooh.